Hi, my name is Keith Swenson and I am recording this as a quick introduction to Weaver for the first time user. You've probably come upon Weaver because you're participating in some group that's using it. You only need to know a few things about Weaver, so let's go into that. In Weaver, there are four key things we're keeping track of. We're going to keep track of meetings, documents, discussion topics, and action items. Now, Meetings hold meeting agendas and all of the notes around a meeting. It's to help you get everybody together, have everybody on the same page before you start. It helps you to run the meeting and, and it helps you to track what's going on and keep records of what happened in meetings. The second major thing we, we track is documents. These are files. They can be Word files. They can be spreadsheets. Uh, they could be PDF files. Whatever it is, they can be also uh, included together with the meetings. Discussion topics are if there's something that you want to have a discussion on, you want to bounce it back and forth, and maybe it's something that you're thinking about but not sure about yet, and so you want to open it up for discussion. Discussion topic works like a discussion forum. And finally, action items. These are, This is your to-do list. These are things that need to be addressed. So all of these are held together in a thing called a workspace. So there will be a lot of workspaces in the system. Each workspace has a set of people, groups of people, who can access that workspace. Now, if you're just starting out, you may just be involved in one workspace, and that's the only workspace you can access. Or maybe as time goes on, you may participate in multiple workspaces. Each workspace is a completely separate space for keeping all of your meetings, your documents, your discussion topics, and your action items. Now when you see this, I'll give you a demo in a moment, but when you see the user interface, you'll see a set of navigational items on the left hand side of the screen. And so under Weaver, if you ever get lost, click on front page. Front page gives you a high level summary of what's going on in the workspace. It's got all the latest action items, the latest things that have happened. And then from there you can get onto some of the other parts of the workspace. But again, back to those four main things meetings it's right there the meetings link will take you there the topics link will take you to discussion topics documents link will take you to the documents objects and action items of course will take you to the list of action items so let me show you what this looks like so here's a workspace in Weaver and if you want to see a list of the meetings you click on the meetings and that's what you're seeing here is all of the meetings. Some of these were run in the past. Uh, here's one that may be run in the future. If you want to see what the meeting's about, you click on the meeting. This is going to show you the overview of when the meeting is, where it's going to be, and it's also going to show you here a representation of the agenda. So using this agenda, you can plan for what you're going to talk about. If you click on the title of the agenda, it opens up and there may be some more uh, information in here, some more details. This may be assigned to a single person. And as, you know, when the meeting's being run, you can use this to help run through the meeting. If you are planning on attending, uh, you can indicate before the meeting starts, you can indicate that you're going to attend and uh, you can see if anybody else is going to attend the meeting. So that's meetings. Discussion topics are again anything that you want to uh, discuss about it's pretty easy to create a topic just click there and create it when you go into looking at a a discussion topic um, there are places where people can make comments on here and you can go back and forth and respond to comments uh, emails get sent out along with these so uh, discussion topics are a way of sort of coming uh, bringing the group to a, a single space so documents might look like this, and these are a list of documents which have been put into the workspace for everybody to be able to access. If you click on the, the title of the document, you'll get to a download page uh, to access almost everything. You have to do a, a download of the file, and then of course you, you load it in as uh, into your application that, that uses it just like normal. If you want to add documents, it's quite straightforward. You click Add Documents, you decide if you want to upload, if you want to link a URL or attach it from Google Documents. But if you upload, it's quite simple. You just simply drag a document onto the drag field and you'll get a place where you can describe uh, you should all read this before the meeting. So to get an idea 
of what relationship this has to do with um, uh, anything else and you click upload and and you're done and so now it's going to list it's now going to be there in the list of documents uh, that are part of the workspace the last thing was action items so your action items list is going to contain a list of action items whatever your group has been working on um, you can if you're assigned one of these uh, you can update the status by clicking on the status and say I am getting this done you can indicate uh, green yellow red depending on whether uh, things are going well so if you think it's going well you can click that you can also set if you're tracking a due date on this you could you could track a, a particular due date and save it down there so this becomes a display where you can everybody can see the status as it's going along eventually you get to the point where you want to complete an action item and you'll use this mark completed here um, another thing you can do is you can accept the app action item that just basically tells everybody else that you're you're working on it and then uh, later of course when you complete it when you complete the item it'll disappear from this view you can see completed items by clicking the completed items checkbox up here so those are the four main things in a weaver workspace meetings discussion topics documents and action items now there's also a few other things that are that are less important or or at, at least you'll use them less often but I'll touch on them briefly here there's also a set of decisions as you work through things with meetings you'll be making decisions and those decisions will be recorded so you can click there and take a look at that um, there's a set of labels labels can be used to help organize the documents and the discussion topics that are in there and then roles are quite important there's a list of of people that are assigned different things and finally I mentioned here email uh, we don't I don't have a menu item here for the email but uh, it's also an important thing of what's going on let me show you how those are so this is where your decisions would appear and these may be linked linked back to conversations that created them uh, it's pretty straightforward if you want to see there's a set of labels uh, labels can be created and, and here so that you have a set of labels to assign to things roles uh, are listing the people here that are assigned to the various roles um, if you're new to the space you probably won't be doing anything with the roles but you can at least see this and see who's playing which which positions and finally there's also a list of email uh, which has been sent uh, at various times and you know the email goes out and it'll look a little bit like this uh, you may receive some of these emails as as part of working with it generally there are uh, links in the emails that will take you back to the workspace so that from the email you can go right to the workspace so that's the workspace uh, I sort of took you through uh, all of the various different parts of it uh, and you can see them all listed down here on the left um, as for outside of the workspace you should pay attention a little bit to the top bar up here first of all if you ever get lost you can click the weaver icon and it'll take you to a space that has all of your stuff now this is across all the workspaces you're working on if you're only working on one workspace you may see only one workspace in here under the, your user here you can get to your profile settings uh, you can get to uh, a couple of other information about what's going on and then under the workspace pull down this is going to list all of the workspaces that you've been to recently as well as all your watched workspaces your template workspaces any workspaces you administer or participate or all the workspaces so this uh, pull down here is for all of the workspaces that you're involved in if you need to find something in the system use the search button just type in a search term and uh, click return and it'll find whatever places where that the that term appears in all across all of the workspaces that you participate in so I hope that gives you an idea for a quick introduction uh, to Weaver and to help you to be effective from the beginning <laughs>